Hey, what's going on, y'all? RJ here with CV Tech, and this video here is a video that I've been dreading for a while. Uh, I knew it was coming around, but it's it's that time for it now. And yes, I am going to be leaving Boost Mobile. Uh, I'm planning on porting out here in the next day or two to a new carrier. I will be making that known whenever I everything is switched over and done. I'll make another video about that. Um, now, the, now I'm not leaving Boost Mobile for just any old reason. I'm only leaving Boost Mobile for just one reason, and that's the fact that there is really no service, no good service in my immediate area. Now, like I've made mention before, everywhere I go, I seem to have service with, with Boost Mobile almost everywhere. LTE is almost everywhere. I really have no issue almost anywhere I go, even in some areas way in the country. I still seem to have LTE on the even on the coverage map. It shows no service, and it'll say LTE with like half bars of service. It's like wow. But in my immediate area here, there is just there's no LTE. Um, voice calls are you know they're in and out um, I have to use I have to use a Bluetooth headset cause seems like when you hold a phone you know it kind of covers the antennas up when you live in a bad area it then calls just drop so I use a Bluetooth or like a headset like this here when I make a phone call uh, every every single phone call I make is through a Bluetooth headset because of that reason and I have talked I've been with boost mobile for right at two years or a little bit over and i will also be giving my final thoughts on boost mobile after two years of service uh here in a, here in a little while i have talked to sprint about this for a long time i talked to boost about this for a long time i've put in a number of complaints about poor service and no lte and really no data at all hardly in my media area i kept on getting the same run around where we're going to improve this we're going to put a ticket in for this we're going to do this 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 and this and after two years service has actually gotten worse um than better you know they have actually said that they've upgraded here and there and where i used to be able to tap into lte a little bit now it's like lte is non-existent here and uh, service calls uh, or voice calls are just they're in and out the only phone the only phone literally that I have right now that can get out clearly with no issues is the Motorola Moto E4 it seems to have a extremely powerful antenna built in that phone and it'll get three to four bars of service where every other phone I have may get one um, but still is there's no LTE and now if I'm going to be paying for unlimited service or unlimited data, I want to be able to use my data here in my house if I want to. I don't want to, I don't want to have to drive up, uptown just use my LTE data. You know, I'm pretty much, uh, it's pretty much a waste to me. And like I said, after two years of trying with Sprint to boost coverage and, and giving them this and that and telling them this and that they always sit there and say well we see that you're in low coverage areas but there's no plans for expansion in your in, in your area anytime soon and i guess after two years you're like well it ain't going to happen now am i saying now am i saying goodbye to boost mobile forever absolutely not i mean if in six months time it's you know guaranteed that i have lte and much better voice service here in my immediate area i will switch right back to boost mobile uh, without even thinking about it but as of right now i just really uh, don't see me get my money's worth whenever it comes to having unlimited talk text and data and i can't even, i can't even use my data so this is a good buy to boost mobile for now i do hate it i really hate it because i'm i really like boost mobile uh, I have for a long time, uh, and I really hate having to pour out my number and going somewhere else right now, but I think that's going to be the best thing to do right now, at least with another carrier that's going to have LTE here and going to have service here whenever I want it. It's well worth, you know, the port over right now, but hopefully they'll get their act together and get better service in my immediate area, and then once they do, of course, I will be back to Boost Mobile. So, yeah um hate to do it but it's got to be done got to get my money's worth if i want to pay a cell phone bill
So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you got any questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload new posts. You know, new carriers, going to be new phones, going to be new this, new that. So, of course, you know, hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more videos. So, y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all in the next video.